Okay, so now we will install the SiteScope 1170, which is the 2019-02 version. And it's going to be a setup that is prepared to work with OBM, although we're not going to do the integration itself, but we are going to lay the groundwork for it. So it means that we are going to do two things. One is installing the SiteScope itself, and then installing an agent without connecting it to an OBM just yet. And then in a separate video, we will have the actual integration process covered. Okay, so there we go. That's the site scope installation coming up. Okay. Click on next, accept, next once more. Side scope, just side scope, not free wall or anything. And we are going to agree to all of the default parameters. Remember, every time you have the option to use the defaults, just use them. Whatever tweaks you're going to do, uh, try to make them after the product installation because you need to keep track on those tweaks and also if you're going to contact, contact support and ask them for help uh, all of those changes are going to come into play so you need to untangle lots of different things that happen to your environment uh, in order to use the advice from forums support experts smes or help files in general doesn't really matter the more default you are the better it is at least at the beginning you know if you're already a pro Tweak whatever you like, but don't hope that everybody else would understand <laughs> what you say. Uh, what what do you mean when you refer to your environment uh, with those customizations? Okay, so there we go. Now it's installing, and it's gonna pop up a wizard once it's done. So let's pause a little bit and continue this video when the installation is complete. Okay, so there is our wizard. Click on next, we will use the port 443 to operate and then license file. We're not going to use at the moment a license file, service name, site scope, local system account. Yes, everything looks good. So we are not going to use HTTPS or will we? Would we use HTTPS? Okay, no, we're not going to use HTTPS, I think. And do not import configuration. There we go. And then just click on next and it will configure itself. Pretty neat. All right, and site scope installation is done. And that's only a part of it. Now we'll go to a second step and we will mount the operations agent. And it's on disk E. So we'll go and open our CMD, go to disk E, and then go C script OA install sh minus I minus install minus A for agent. We're not going to configure the server. Uh, and certificate authority just yet, just plain agent. All oh, right, it's not supposed to be VBS. VBS. There we go. And now it will run for a couple of minutes. And it should be the end of it, really. So let's see how it goes. All prerequisites are met. And now it would just go and install itself. So it looks pretty good. So here we see an interesting thing. We have some packages that are already installed. And those packages actually come from Sitescope installation. 
So now it will figure out the versions and the conflicts and which ones of them to update or keep. And it will just continue installing itself until it's, until it's done. Okay, and it is done and the product is ready to start its integration with OBM. So we're gonna do just that in the next video.